What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and I'm super excited because as you already know, I've got my OnePlus open sitting right here. And yes, I'm late to the party and that's all good because now you get a newer unboxing video right before you. I did pre-order the OnePlus open October 19th, but obviously I did not make the early shipment wave. With the pre-order, they did include a free set of limited misty white OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Those of you who have watched my videos know that I do have the Arbor Green, which is right here. When I purchased the OnePlus 11 Pro, these are excellent earbuds, by the way. The time has come for what you're hoping, for me to unbox the OnePlus Open. Let's do this. I wanted to go through some of the setup process. So you'll select your language, your region. And when I select United States and continue, you'll notice you have some notes. First thing is do not remove exclusive screen protector as well as do not press on the screen crease. Now foldable owners kind of know the do's and the don'ts of these type of devices. But if you're new to foldables, just keep the notes in mind while you're using your device. For this setup process, I will use the Google Pixel Fold to copy apps and data to the OnePlus Open. I really enjoy using the Google Pixel Fold, but eventually I'll have to take the SIM card out and place it into the OnePlus Open to get the full experience. Many of us know there are a couple different ways to transfer your data from your old device to your new device. You can achieve this by a cable, or you can download an app to go ahead and transfer the data over wirelessly. Okay. 
wait a minute. I'm at 14% battery and I don't think I'm gonna make it through this setup. Don't be like me kids, follow the directions. It specifically says, insert cable into your old device first. That way the old device can charge the new device. As you saw, I'm at 40% when I took it out of the box. So in the meantime and in between time, I decided to pause the setup process to be able to, first of all, charge the OnePlus Open and then do this process wirelessly. Yes, I should have and could have charged the device before I started the setup process, but you just don't understand how excited I was to start using this device. To set up your unlock method, you're gonna to have to choose which type of password type that you want. I normally do numeric. I'm going to show you the fingerprint setup and it does take a little bit, a little longer, but they're going to ensure that you have every angle so it can unlock every time. Navigation method is definitely gonna be gestures for me. It's just what I'm used to. OnePlus devices uses Oxygen OS and I actually don't have a problem with it, I like it. But look at that screen. I'm going to open the open and let's check out that animation. So cool, so cool. The screen fills and looks good. Going from the larger screen to the smaller screen, you see you have to swipe up. You can change that. I have 24 gigabytes of stuff. Here I'm going to choose what I wanna restore. And you see, I do have a large amount of apps here. Scrolling is smooth and fast. That looks good. Now I'm going to open it up. And as you see, there was a slight delay there, but you have to keep in mind, I am installing about almost 300 apps. Going from the inside screen to the outer screen, you'll have to swipe up to continue. You can change that. The fingerprint sensor is as speedy as you expect it to be. It unlocks so quickly, I forget that it was ever even locked. This size and this screen is a thing of beauty. Uh, the scrolling is very nice. You can set it to automatic refresh rate or set it if you want. Swiping from the top brings me to my setting in toggles. You see I'm still installing all of those apps, but with doing that, the device is not hot or warm at all. It's maintaining a decent temperature. It's time now to try out the included case. That's right, the included case um, and place it on the device. This color is actually smooth, whereas I believe the black one has some type of texture on the back. The case does have texture, as you saw from when I unboxed. It's kind of thin, but again, you do have some protection while you're waiting for other case makers to design a case. Um, for this device. So putting on the case, it's very easy, of course, and it does give me some type of grip so it's not slippery and it has um, some screen protection for the front. I am super happy about this right here. I don't like my apps to download onto my home screen at all. I hate that look. Using this feature, you're able to select multiple apps and remove them from the home screen. Right out the box, yes, there is an update. I'm going to go to view updates and this gives you some information about what this update is going to improve or help fix. So we have quite a bit here. And as you see, the size of this thing is 636 megabytes. Let me not forget the battery life on this device is amazing. As you see here, this is the first time me actually using the device, letting it get down to 20% and the charging, the wire charging is super fast. Watching content on the OnePlus Open is really fun. This is actually one of the positions I use, especially right now because I do not have a case that has a kickstand and this seems to work out pretty darn good.
as this video winds down, I decided to record myself using the OnePlus Open. I am using the rear cameras and I'm also using the dual view mode so that way I can see myself and make sure that I'm in frame. To give you how I'm feeling about this device short and sweet, I'm loving it right now. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.